If you're like most homeowners, your house is your biggest financial asset. It's also one of the most sentimental parts of your life. You probably put a lot of time, money, and effort into making it special for your family. You've been diligent over the years to make it yours home, and now it's time to get intentional about making it someone else's place. How to sell a house in seven easy steps. Whether you are a few months or a few years away from putting a for sale sign in front of your front yard, this seven step will help you sell your house the right way. Number one, find a stellar agent. Real estate agents are a dime a dozen. That is why you don't need just any agent. You need to find the right agent. Find someone who will super serve you, negotiate the best deal, and sell your house fast. As tempting as it is to have a relative, a friend from church, or a friend of a friend help you, always stick with a vetted professional who has experience and can sell your home for the most money in the shortest amount of time. Now, let's discuss something that has crossed many home sellers' mind. Should I sell my home myself? Look, everybody loves saving money, and selling solo could seem like a great way to do just that. But is for sale by owner really all it's cracked up to be? First off, if you really want to sell your home, you need to get it in front of buyers, and a lot of them. This is where uh, agents come in handy. An uh, experienced real estate agent will your home a much needed online present through the multiple listing service and expose it to thousands of potential buyers. Plus, an agent will develop a target strategy to market your home to their extensive network of buyers and agents. Can you save big money by going for sale by owner? Not really. Even when you sell your home yourself, you still have to pay a commission to the buyer's agent. You only save the commission on one side of the transaction. A seller agent will more than make up for the cost. Consider this. The latest National Association of Realtor data shows that the average sold by an agent last year fetched for $235,000. In contrast, the average first sale by owner home went for $185,000. That's a $50,000 difference. A great agent can help you get the most money for your home. Number two, price your home. Remember this, your home is only worth what the buyers are willing to pay. Therefore, you need to be objective about your home's value. If you live in your home long enough to make memories, those sentimental ties could cloud your judgment. So, stick to the facts as much as possible when you estimate how much your home could sell for. The best way is to determine your home's value is to ask a real estate agent to run a comparative market analysis. This is a free report. Compare your homes to others' homes near that are similar in size, have similar features, and are either on the market or have sold in recent months. The comparison also allow your agent to more accurately predict what buyers will pay for your home. Your CMA will offer several pages of information including photos and map of all the properties that are in the analysis. A true pro will take time to walk you through the result so you understand exactly how your home stack up to the competition. With this information in hand, you can work with your agent to set a comparative price that based on fact, not emotion. Number three, set a timeline. Make the most of the weeks and months leading up to your home sale. If you have an idea of when you want to list your house, break your to-do list into manageable bit-sized pieces. Here's a guide to get you started. Of course, you can adjust accordingly to your own needs and personal timeline as soon as possible. Interview real estate agent. Take time to find a pro who has have a proven track record and inspire you to work with confidence. Outline a plan. Work with your agent to set priorities so you can focus on knocking them out one task at a time. Declutter. Decide what you can live with out until your home sell. Then pack it up and get it out. Two or three months. Hire a home inspector. Identifying issue early lets you work fixes into your budget on the front end so you don't have to wreck your deal later. Tackle repairs. Ask your agent where your fix it dollars will do the most good. One or two months, set the stage. Create an inviting space that enables buyers to see your house as their home. One week, deep clean, scrub every surface into a shine. Hire a pro to make carpets and rug look and smell new again. Applying finishing touches, get your home picture 
perfect so your photographer can capture it in the best possible light. Again, the key is to keep stress at bay during the weeks and months leading up to putting your home on the market is to make a plan and then work that plan. Remember to accept help from a pro and just breathe. Number four, hire a professional to do a home inspection. Most home buyers know it's pay to get a home inspection, but did you know it's a worthwhile tool for a home sellers too? It's true, a pre-sale inspection might cost a few hundred dollars, but it'd be worth the money well spent. Why? Because it can keep buyers from demanding big bucks at the negotiating table or worse, keeping out on the deal at the last minute. So what's included in a home inspection? According to the American Society of Home Inspectors, a home inspection includes electrical, plumbing, heating, and cooling system, wall, ceiling, floor, windows, and door, roof, attic, and visible insulation, foundation, basement, and structure component. A qualified home inspector comes in properly accessible areas to assess the home condition and identify any health and safety issue. Once the inspection is complete, you receive a detailed report outlining what works and what doesn't with recommendations for maintenance and repair. Don't worry about addressing every single finding in your home inspection, but do pay attention to the big ticket issues. This can scare a buyer into asking you way more money than it actually takes to fix. Then your agent can help you sort through the finding, but the roof, electrical, plumbing, and HVAC system typically take priority. If you have rooms in your budget, take care of those before you list your home. Number five, stage and engage. Get your home ready. Once your home is in good working order, it's time to set the stage to show off its best feature. That starts with a deep cleaning. Here are some ways to make your house look great. Scrub every service until it's sparkless. We can't improvise this enough. You need to clean your house and keep it clean during showtime. Apply a fresh coat of paint. Paint is relatively cheap considering the impact it has on making a home look fresh and inviting. Pay a pro to deep clean rugs and carpets. Minimize clutter to maximize spaces. Once you have a clean home, you can begin to stage. Keep your colors natural and try to depersonalize as much as possible. Take down most of your family photos so buyers can picture their families enjoying your house. Closet are a big deal to home buyers, so create the impression of a spaciousness by storing away out of season clothing and miscellaneous gear. Don't forget to stage outdoors too. Clean your front porch and place a nice planters near your entryway. If you have a deck, pressure wash it and have add a few colorful plants to give a space an extra pop. Make sure to prep your home to be show ready, camera ready. Professional photos that show off your home's feature are an essential part of your outline listing. Your agent should help you coordinate photo shoot so that the less pressure for you. Here's our few additional station tip to get your home ready for its glamour shot. There's a place for everything and everything needs to be in its place. Again, a tidy home is non-negotiable. Channel your inner Mr. Clean or Snow White and whistle while you work if you have to. Just clean up the place. Pick up the toys and pet stuff. Barbies and puppies sell breakfast cereal, but not homes. Keep the kid clutter and pet supplies under wraps. Add extra touches. A pair of colorful pillow or a few green plants will add colors and life to any room. Clear the counters. Throw your juicer and kale smoothie maker into the kitchen cabinet. The same goes for your bathrooms. Pitch those personal items in a drawer so to keep them out of sight. Shine a light for all to see. Bright rooms make your home look bigger. Throw back the curtain. Pull up the blinds and let the sun shine in. Remember to wash your window first. Go easy on the rugs. Rugs generally don't photograph well and can make your space look smaller. Your agent can help you decide which rug can stay and which one should go. Put a lid on it. Your toilet, that is, friends don't let friends leave the lid up during a nice photo shoot. Keep in mind, staging should accentuate the positive of your house without overwhelming potential buyers. Number six, list your home and survive the showing. Home showing are hard to juggle, where your home is empty or full of kids running around. If you're still living in the homes you're trying to sell, these handy tips can help you stay sane and get your home sold. Make a daily to-do list. Surprise showing always seems to happen when you're 
home is complete wreck. Reduce last minute panic by putting things away as soon as you're done with them and creating a checklist of simple tasks to knock out before you leave every morning. That way, you're always ready for guests. Get the pets out of touch. Men's best friend can be your home's deal worst enemy. Leaving pets home for a show and bring mess to mind and a yap happy dog is just plain annoying. Take the fur baby for a joyride or send him to grandma's house so the buyer can focus on your home's best features. Let it go. Separating yourself from the place you call home can be hard, but if you want to make a deal, you got to give buyers time and space to fall in love with your home. Be flexible about scheduling showing. Don't make buyers step around you or your feeling when they visit. Tackle the toys. Pairing them the piles of plastic is a tough task, but it sure does make cleanup a breeze. Ask your kid to choose a few favorite to keep in their room, then store the rest in bins. Make sure to explain to them that they'll see their toys again. If they get bored with their selection, you can always rotate toys out. Enlist help from the kids. Want to ease your load? Give Junior a job to do. It's a great way to teach you value of hard work. Have a little fun and build big motivation by running time practice drills. Don't forget to recognize a job well done. If you can't spare enough cash, quality time spent with you works too. Try your best, but be human. There will be days you just can't get everything put away and make it out the door on time. If you get a call for a showing, tell your agent what's happened so they can prepare the buyers ahead of time. Just don't miss any opportunity to get your home seen. Number seven, seal the deal. Negotiating between you, the seller, and the buyer kick off with the buyer initial offer. Keep in mind that the contract stage work differently in every state, so your agent should explain state specific details of the offer in terms you understand. Never sign any purchase agreement before you clear about what's included in the offer and what isn't and how it affects you. Pay close attention to the following. Purchase price, closing or escrow date, special allowance for personal property, home improvement and closing costs, contingency deadline for the home inspection, appraisal and buyer financing, additional contingency such as sales of the buyer's current home. Once you and the buyer reach to a final purchase agreement, you're not home free quite yet. There's still a lot to do from contract to closing. So here is how to match this stage of the game. Don't wait until last minute to pack. Keep your buyer in the loop. Keep your home insurance up to date until you sign the dotted line. Make a list of what to bring on closing day. Remain flexible because delay can and will happen. Use a pro to sell your home. The best way to have a great experience selling your home is to partner up with a professional agent. The right agent should guide you every step of the way without taking over the driver's seat. They should inform you but not overwhelm you. I'm Ace Nguyen with Ace Estate at Keller Williams Realty and I'm here to turn dreams into reality one home at a time. Thank you.